Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sorry We're Closed, episode number nine, almost in double digits. Um, and I, like I always said, I like to I like to do different things on this podcast, talk about different things. It will encompass some baseball, but mostly not. This one today is a good one. It, it encompasses baseball, but it's a baseball story, nothing to do with baseball. But it's a it's an evening out on the town uh, in spring training in 2000. I want to say 15, and um, I was a minor leaguer for the Boston Red Sox at the time. And the good thing about spring training is you oftentimes run into big leaguers, and you don't usually interact with them very much. But you run into them and you kind of watch how they operate, what they do, what their routine is, because you want to do that yourself. You figure if you uh, are able to, um, you know, emulate their routine and how they operate, that one day you will also be a big leaguer, right? So um, it's it's a positive. It's a great thing uh, about spring training, but you also don't want to get in their way. Um, You admire from afar, and that goes for both on the field, at the facility, during work, and off the field, if you run into them somewhere. If you don't know them, don't even acknowledge them, but, you know, you're curious just like anyone else. And this particular story comes um, from the night I spent out on the town. Uh, in Fort Myers at a bar. It was, I think it was a tequila bar, like a Mexican bar. Um, and we go, you know, go out and you don't get many, very many off days, uh, in spring training or a day like where you can sleep in. Um, it's seven days a week. You're up at six in the morning, every morning. And, uh, you don't, you just don't get off days. And I always tell people, um, you know, people say, like, well, why don't you just show up hung- hungover some days? I have to go physically perform. I can't, you know, go sit at the desk or something like that. You know, it's like a construction job where you're building stuff. Showing up hungover sucks. So it d- just doesn't happen. Um, so we decide one night, I don't remember why, maybe we had an off day the next day, a late start, whatever. But we start decide one day that we're going to um, go out. So we go out to this bar and we're probably bar hopping because in the Florida Gulf Coast at uh, the town center, in Fort Myers, there's a few bars you can go out to. Um, And it's probably not that great for Florida Gulf Coast uh, gentlemen because, you know, for spring training time from February and March, they have a bunch of professional athletes, uh, both the Red Sox and the Twins in Fort Myers, um, probably taking uh, the college girls. You know, they're very nice, you know, looking girls. And we're pretty much the same age. Um, So, anywho, we're out, we're about having fun. And um, it's me and a guy by the name of Kevin Heller. He doesn't play anymore either, but um, nice guy, uh, you know, good player. Um, but we're out having a few drinks. You know, nothing crazy, just hanging out. And this young lady approaches us. And she comes and talks to us, and she's very chatty, which is nice. You know, it's nice, not, not overly chatty, but it's nice to have people that are actually going to talk to you Um even me, who has a podcast by himself, essentially, uh, I do bring on guests, but has a podcast by himself and can talk with the best of them, doesn't enjoy holding a conversation with myself when I'm actually, you know, talking to someone. Um, you know, you really just have to contribute 20, 30%. I'll carry the load if you're not that great of a you know, conversationalist when you just met someone, which I get, that's pretty common. I'll carry the load, but you got to do something for me. So we... We talk, right? During the conversation with me, Kevin, and this girl, um, I happen to, you know, you, you look around, you have a few drinks, and all of a sudden, I look, I look across the bar, and I see two guys that play in the big leagues for us. One is John Lackey, who is, uh, you know, a great human being. I didn't know this at the time, but it was a great human being. Um, and the other, I will not mention his name because I keep things private, uh, but he, uh, cause he, he was married. Um, but, uh, is another player and, uh, I won't say he played for the Red Sox or the twins, but 
He's a baseball player, right? And the gentleman who is, uh, is, you know, not such a great guy is absolutely staring us down without a doubt. Very uncomfortable. Um, and you know, you don't want to step on big leaguers toes. You don't know why he's staring you down. You don't know, but you know, he could say something bad about, you know, we're me and if, if I have the year right, we're getting closer to when I'm getting close to the big leagues. And he could say something bad about, you know, I don't think he's that good. It carries weight, especially this type of guy. He's got, he's a veteran, you know, it wasn't, you know, a rookie who's just getting up there and he's a veteran. So I don't know what's going on, but eventually I take enough notice where I ask my buddy here, I go, Kev, do you see who's across the bar? And he looks and he's like, Okay, yeah, uh, that's pretty cool, huh? I was like, yeah, but so and so, let's call him. Uh, uh, let's see, what's a good name to call someone that doesn't give anything away? Uh, let's call him Mike. Mike is staring us down aggressively. He's like, yeah, yeah, he is. And both of us are now uncomfortable. We don't want anything to do with this. We don't know why he's staring us down. We don't know if it's serious, if he's messing with us. I don't know anything. But all I know is the guy is staring us down, and I want to change that uh, without an altercation. So alarm bells have gone off in my head that this girl who approached us randomly, girls approaching guys doesn't happen all that often. You know, they're just as scared to come talk to us as we are of them. So alarm bells, alarm bells start going off, and I'm like, maybe it's the girl we're talking to. Maybe it's his girl. Maybe, you know, maybe he wants to talk to this girl. So I go, excuse me. Uh, let's call her Beth. Excuse me, Beth. Do you, do you happen to know Mike? And she goes, oh, yeah, I was talking to him tonight. And I was like, okay, well, what's going on here? He's staring us down. He's like, yeah, he's definitely upset that, we're, that I'm talking to you guys. I was like, okay, well, here's the deal. We're minor leaguers. We don't want to get in the way of this, and we certainly don't need him hating us. So we probably should end this conversation. She's like, no, no, he's a jerk. He's been hitting on me all night. Meanwhile, I know he's married, blah, blah, blah. I was like, that's all fine and good. None of my business. If he wants to talk to girls while he's married, you know, maybe it's an open relationship. I don't know. I, I Listen, it's not, not for me to judge, I, and I'm not going to, but this can't happen with, I'm not risking, you know, bad words being said about me to upper management in Boston because I was hitting on some girl at the bar who I found attractive, but I wasn't like, I wasn't, it wasn't like, oh my God, I got to talk to this girl. So I politely ask her eventually to leave and she does. Um, and the staring kind of keeps going. It definitely ceases a little bit, but it kind of keeps going on. And so me and my buddy are kind of just sitting there. We don't really know what to do. We're thinking about leaving. Um, but we're just trying to have a few more drinks, hoping that it goes away because we enjoyed the place we were at. We didn't really want to leave. We were just going to do it to kind of get away from whatever this was. Um, and we see someone approaching us. And I happen to look over as the person approaching us, and it's John Lackey, who's with Mike, quote unquote. And... John comes up to us and he starts talking. He's like, hey, you know, you guys play for the Sox. You know, we, I've seen you around the, the facility. I'm like, oh, yeah, man. Like, yeah, we, you know, we play. You know, we're just, you know, I'm a pitcher. We, you know, talk the usual mumbo jumbo between a big leaguer and a minor leaguer. And me being the New Jersey guy that I am and the talker that I am, you all know that I'm not one to bite my tongue. I'm going to ask because I want this situation resolved so I can go about my night and not have to worry about it. And I know John Lackey might be the key to that because. The guy's a stud, and, you know, if he has our back, you know, we're good. So I go, I go, John, you got a question, man. He goes, what's up? I go, why is Mike staring at us? And he's like, he's like, <laughs> and just like laughs. I go, like, we don't want any trouble. Like, I talked to that girl. I found out that she was talking to him. Like, I, we sent her away. Like, we want nothing to do with it, like. We're just, we're, we're backing off. And he goes, and I quote, sorry, mom, for cursing, but I quote, he goes, man, fuck that guy. He's, he's a fucking loser, man. And I was just like, wow. 
did not anticipate that response. But essentially, John was just just didn't want anything to do with that and was just like, the guy's a loser. Like, don't even bother. Don't even worry about it because it's an absolute joke that he would even be remotely upset about this. And so John sat there for a little while longer, had a few drinks with us. Ends up walking back, went back and hung out with Mike. And at, the end of the, at that time, now we can enjoy the rest of our evening without having to worry about this gentleman coming up and beating the shit out of us for talking or talking poorly about us to you know, upper management or what have you. Anything. It would have been, it, would, it was a much more relaxing night. So that's my reality John Lackey story, who is a tremendous human being. I will root for him until the day I die because of how good, it, I don't even know if he still plays, but it, just a tremendous human being. And I, and I couldn't be more appreciative of that actual moment because it was, it was a difficult moment. Um, and not really knowing what to do. A 22, 23 year old Pat, drunk Pat, had no clue what to do. Um, continue on in that night that same evening now i'm having fun so now i have a few drinks i um probably had a few too many drinks but again you don't get it very often in baseball so you you try to take advantage of the night and you end up having a little more fun than maybe you should um but regardless i then go to uh this table of girls and i guess i've had too many drinks this time i didn't see the two gentlemen that were standing with the two girls. But I go up to the girls and I go, hey, um, what's your name? And I introduce myself, blah, blah. And again, keep in mind, I'm a very polite person. I'm not in any way being aggressive or anything like that. And obviously, you can probably tell that I've been, been drinking a little bit. So I'm not you know, offending anyone. But I go, hey, how are you? And I talk to them and I was like, yeah, so yeah, yeah, we started talking. I don't remember what exactly my line was or if I had a line, but she goes, oh, that's sweet, but this is my husband standing right next to her. It's like, okay. And being the drunk asshole that I am, I just turn and I go to the other girl, I go, hey, what's your story? <laughs> and she goes, well, this is my fiance standing right next to me. And I was just like, all right, and walked away. Looking back, what kind of an idiot do I have to be to just completely block out the guys in my head thinking that they're not standing there and start talking to these girls as if there's not a care in the world that these two gentlemen could beat the hell out of me for doing this? And these are the things, I'm sure everyone's had them in their lives, or you look back on your early 20s or a few drinks too, mu- too many and, and you're doing things, things you, you typically wouldn't. But... These are the things that you just look back and cringe on about what the hell was I thinking? And thank God I am polite. I'm sure I didn't offend anyone. And these guys didn't want to beat the hell out of me. They all, you know, they all laughed it off. That was funny. But what kind of an idiot does that? Ugh. So that's my stories um, for this. John Lackey, tremendous human being. Maybe one day I'll release the name of that other guy because he's a real asshole. Like everyone, he's not well liked in baseball. Um, no one liked him, even though he stayed around for a while. Um, no one liked him. And uh, so maybe one day I'll release the name. But, you know, none of my business. Anywho, guys, absolute pleasure here, as always. Episode 9, that's all I have for you in the books. Nice quick one here for you. Just wanted to tell you a nice quick story. Uh, something you might not know. You definitely not know. I don't think I've ever told anyone that story. Um, so I wanted to tell you that. Next, uh, this coming Thursday, episode 10, Jared Carabas joins me. We talk a bunch of different things. We're going to talk about um, things that you you wouldn't have heard elsewhere. Uh, We're not going to we're not going to dive into why he's at Barcelona or anything like that. We're going to talk about some fun things, um, some bar moments, and um, and you know who knows who else knows where we'll go. To be honest with you, you you never know with me and Jared. Uh, But tune into that if uh, if you know if we we'll put it out Thursday. So regardless, but. Uh, if you haven't already, please go check out my YouTube page. I put out some good content over there. All the episodes for the for, sorry we're closer on there, as well as um, some things with uh, Giraffe Neck Mark. We do an every uh, every Friday baseball show about uh, you know just what's happening in the league at that time, and uh, so that's a lot of fun. So go check out, subscribe to that, um, and obviously you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, leave me a five star review. Subscribe to this podcast, and ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your day. I got to go manage Green Rock. Um, Have a good one, and I'll see you soon.